He learned a lot yes. against Second Master. And, and Harley, she can find that nice little space right where air bullets meet, keeping Atrocitus down and uh, oppressed by gunshots and uh, keeping Dexar at bay. So here we go, guys. Buttons are checked. This is a real match. These players being strong. nice guys, letting the animations rock. And here we go. Who's going to get that first hit? Who's going to get that juicy meter? That's it. Doesn't go with the unsafe puddle. And it's safe to start things off. And after a little stare down there, Biohaz is going to get the back to that low gun shot and walks right into the unblockable interactable. He's going to post up in the corner right now, prevent Harley from coming in. And no, Mads is going to attack. Oh, and the hyena was ready to go, like you mentioned before. As soon as the bone comes out, the hyena is coming to follow it. Patience. It's going to block that. And no attempt on the class interactable, which is unlimited. Not sure what Biohazard was going there. That was like two neutral jumps. Didn't really go for anything there. No real mix-up. Wow, and activates the shield in the air for the jump to make his jump in completely safe and fun. Anti-airable, that was kind of ridiculous from Hazard. Small things added up, but however, Biohazard still in the lead. So annoying, so oppressive, and Harley with all of her tools. Madsen's got to change something up here. He's got to change the game plan. Right now, he's on a road to a loss right here. Clash is going to give him a little bit of breather. Um, wasn't really paying attention to Dexter if he was ready to be summoned or if he was on his way. All right, Dexter's ready to be summoned, and Madsen does it immediately. And Biohazard all over it. And no punish goes for the cupcake. It's going to get punished in return. Not sure on the idea. Maybe an input error, but now he's paying for it with his life into the corner. Push blocks for some space. Enough to get the hyenas going. And the blood nano in neutral. That is the Madsen special right now. Biohazard getting it going with the dandruff. And Madsen unfortunately wastes two bars for no reason. Doesn't come out of the combo. Terribly timed. Are knocked down, looking for the ambiguous cross. Madsen pressing a lot of buttons now. Biohazard taking advantage. Oh, the bone didn't come out of her hand, so the hyena wasn't summoned, but it does go out that time. Now we're gonna see a comeback. It's a comeback sequence, time and time again. Into the corner now is Biohazard. A couple gunshots, hyenas on deck, and meets him with the air to air, tries to escape. No anti air, lets Biohazard land instead. And the air gunshots still double overheads. Madsen not ready as he takes a swig of the rain. Quinn wins. <laughs> Madsen not ready for that air gunshot. He was anticipating him to just complete the jumping arc, but just completely stopped, dead in his tracks, catching him off guard. Biohazard, calm, collective, and he's feeling real good right now. No reason for him not to. All right, both players get receive their tiny little bits of coaching. Sonic Fox trying to reveal some secrets to Biohazard as to how to make it to top eight in this awful situation. And the bucket hat coming in from Harley right now. Mm, I love it. I love the randomized gear. It's Shout out to NetherRealm. I know I've said things about her gear in the past. The bucket hat is kind of growing on me. <laughs> She's ready. She looks like she's ready for war. And what a stage to be ready for war on. Oh, and catches. No safety. Not a big punish. Nice blocks. Looking for the blood nato and neutral once again. It's Madsen. That dashes. Playing the full screen game. Looking for shots. Trying to shoot out those shin guards. Yeah, and that off straight of shot is a punish on the blood nato from anywhere on the screen. Oh, and catches the back dash as Madsen smart stuff into the punch walk to the corner. Still has that deck star take the cover. And what happened there was even though the tension stance was invincible for a little bit, the ball actually caught the invincibility, and the forward two was there to stuff the rest. Very smart stuff. Very well calculated by Madsen. Unfortunately, gets caught biting, and Pio has it all over this. Leaves them the damage over time situation. <gasps> wow. But does that cancel it out? Oh, yeah. After that play Dr. Restand, Harley is neutral on block. She does not have plus frames from her command grab. And Madsen mashing out that six frame down one before the point can take them down into the magic pixel. Okay, Biohazard tying it up, not losing too much on his red health bar. However, Madsen has a full stick of meter right now. Three bars at his disposal. Checks the hyena bone, knocks him out of the air. 
And Riot blocking the cupcakes. Now Biohazard trying to build that meter as Harley Quinn does so well. Oh. And gets opened up any class situation. Is terrible for Biohazard. So he's going to take the bulk of the damage into the continuation. And this is all but over right now. Biohazard has a huge decision to make. And that was amazing by Madsen to try to look, knowing that the meter deficit was on his side, and knowing Biohazard was in no and mood the to clash. Stand catches the back dash, and now Madsen's the one who's going to clash. The deck start trait about to be reset. It's so close. Okay, blocking here. Biohazard waiting patiently for his opportunity, and there it is. Madsen presents it to him. Doesn't have two bars to flip out. He also doesn't have a Clash at his disposal. He can't do anything else. out to absorb anything in case Biohazard comes a little too close. Anti-air with the overhead gunshot. And just like that, somehow, Biohazard is back in this match. All right, Dex are ready. And then Madsen immediately on the first available frame, ready to summon him. Party time. And I don't know if Biohazard missed the Clash right there. He would have been... Pummeled to pixel wins. health, but he still would have been alive as clashes cannot deplete your health bar entirely. You will always remain with something. But in this case, the only thing he receives is an L in the lost column. Madsen, one match closer to top eight. And another thing to think about is if he did clash right there in that last opportunity, Dexar would have been gone and the timer would have went all the way back down to zero. Yes. And I don't know what he was thinking. Biohazard, the instant jump in one. Magic getting way too greedy. Trying to start the match by activating Dexstar. Now getting blown up for it. Uh-oh, here it is. Dexstar's last shot, though. However, he's got to wait for the cooldown. How long can Madsen hold this combo for? He does end it with the air punch walk. Just to buy himself a little bit more time. Dexter halfway, halfway back. And Dexstar ready to be summoned. Biohazard can't give him any breathing room, and he does. He gives him one shot for a punish, and that's about it. And one shot there to break the shield and gets punished with the Blood Nato low puddle. Push blocks Dexstar away, doesn't want anything to do with it. Need to press the Blood Nato, but it's instantly pummeled by the Hyenas. Looking for the punish there on the air gunshot a little too late. All right, chucking the bone. Hyenas coming, looks like it hit overhead. Chucking the other bone, and it goes right through the shield. Didn't wow, really matter to and the anti-air with the Blood Nato Biohazard landing right on top of it. Beautiful down two to just stop it completely. Not sure what Madsen was looking for. Maybe a jump in two, maybe some kind of forward advancing mid, but or it could have actually been some kind of input error. Yeah, that was really suspect. Biohazard basically giving a Christmas anti-air for free. Happy birthday. Forcing Madsen off of his class this early in the health bar. And Madsen also spent three bars to regain 30%. I'd say the cards are heavily in Biohazard's favor right now. All right, Biohazard loses that first bar. Madsen on his way to controlling this match again. However, he does have a slight bit of ground to cover, and he does it with the Blood Nato. Down to a down to Blood Nato. Oh, baits out Biohazard with the blood. blood. Not anymore. He's opened up by the low. Full combo, hard knockdown, ambiguous. That water buffalo, no chance of life. Trossett is not a big fan of the tour here in Gorilla City. He only has his cat and he's good to go. He's good. Biohazard probably gonna use two bars to get 25%. No, obstacle with one bar for 15%. And instead of getting 10 more percent back, you would rather have a bar. You know, two bars can flip you out of a combo after you use Clash. And Biohazard with the triple dash up right into Madsen's face. Set up, hyenas are out, cross up jump three. The wake up from Madsen and not again. Damage not over time, again. check it out. Madsen isn't gonna make this comeback. And the super punish from Biohazard. Slack time, boys. As Buddy Lou take a chump out of this hate feeling monster. And I love it, I love the blackout at the end. So cinematic, so... Beautiful. Win wins. <laughs> this game is too godlike. Can we talk about how she just tosses a stick of dynamite as her wind pulls and how this is the greatest thing known to man? Like, she literally, like, you can't survive that. You, you just die. You just die, and she doesn't even look back she to just, make sure you do. She's juggling 
a stick of dynamite, and it's like, you know what? I don't want Dark this. Side. Over the shoulder. Quinn. Good for three Fighters from downtown for Atlantis. sure. And you get blown up and wait a minute. Dark side. Final stretch. Madsen with the dark Going side. Going dark side. His last attempt, his last character pick. Begin. He is down 2-1 against Biohazard. Again, Biohazard out the gate with a jump in two. Hard knockdown. Sweep from Biohazard. And wow, great avoidance of that low shot. Instant air stomp coming from Madsen. And the minion is out. Going for the mix-ups. Madsen ha has one bar. He can use it to do the meter burn stop, which leads it into a full combo. And that was slick stuff there for Madsen, using the teleport to avoid the hyenas. Doesn't want anything to do with it. And the stump again, Pyro has it walking right into that range. Back to back, two combos, 416 damage, and Madsen's in the lead. Nice punch from Biohazard, but doesn't commit for whatever reason. And again, we saw it from Sonic Fox, and we're seeing it here from Madsen, that low stomp, so much mileage. You know, not a traditional attack in fighting games anywhere. A like jumping not. low? A jumping low really throws you off. You're expecting the overhead. You're expecting the overhead cross up, but you're not expecting a low. However, if you do guess right, and that's a low, that could be a full combo punish on Dark Side. And right now, Dark Side not able to get anything going, but the EX Cupcakes leaving Harley wide open to a punish from the teleport. And here we go. Of course, it will be last, last life bar. Last life bar piece. The minion shoots the projectile from full screen. That's it going up with the stop, stop. Meter burns it. And the punish on the EX Cupcake spins the bar to extend this string into bigger combo damage. Double jump kicks into the stump. And Mayo has a, it's one combo away from death. Now the interesting thing about Dark Side is when he does connect that stomp, he can lead. It's a great unclashable damage. Will Madsen do it? Will he teleport in and go for the stomp? The minion is out, goes for the overhead variant to cover his tracks and chip damage away at this point. And the jump back stomp. Hold and on. Sonic Fox rushes to the stage, giving Biohazard Dark some coaching wins. advice. Sonic Fox, very familiar with the character. Let's see what he gives him. Is he going to tell Biohazard to switch the Bane? Is he going to tell him to stick to his guns in Harley Quinn? Biohazard opting to go to character. I'm sorry, Madsen. I believe Madsen is player one. And yes. I, I see him going to select a new fighter. Not sure if that's the decision he wants to... If he's making the decision for Biohazard, Biohazard can opt to go for rematch, stay on the same time. stage, stay with the characters. Sonic, time. Foxy, Foxy, pull him. <laughs> there you go. Going to character select screen. And, you know, tournament mode, as always. The beautiful randomized gear. Harley Quinn. And he's sticking Fighters to Harley Quinn. Absolutely. He's solitude. staying there. We're Absolutely. going to the Fortress of Solitude. Hey, I mean, I feel like Biohazard, he's in a pickle. Because I, Dark Side Begin. has so many mix-ups up close, and that teleport really shuts down Harley Quinn zoning. All right, goes for the overhead to start, and Foxy screaming from the crowd. Yeah. Oh, the cross up into the instant drop kick. Imagine working on a perfect about 75% of the way there on this first health bar. Teleports. Oh, and a full combo punished by Biohazard. That's what I was talking about. Yes. When you block that stuff, it could be death for death, Dark Side. Beautiful uh, stuff. Nice air escape from Biohazard. Coming down to it. The overhead trading with the hyena. Peter Burn rolling his way in. This Biohazard wants to be closer. Gets the conversion, but not full damage. All right, hyenas closer. Biohazard showing massive results, not giving up. Oh. And the overhead summon on the minion. That minion's Anywhere gonna in find the you. skies. That minion's gonna find you. If you're up on the ground, if you're on the ground or up in the air, it doesn't matter. All right, taking his time, looking for it. Gunshot going under the Omega Peak. Crate spacing out from Biohazard, evading it, but gets tossed by the overhead. Meter burn. Back three. Oh, the stomp. Madsen looking so good right now oh, with the pick of Dark Side. Biohazard's a great conversion. Now, this should be enough to kill here in the corner. And he does get it played, Doctor, stabbing the God of Apocalypse and Biohazard, taking it down. Can he run it back? No, oh, and gets it, it by the interactable. Huge splash damage, meter burn escape, and the block from Biohazard fighting back. Biohazard using all his bar for so many air escapes. That's two Plus. bars each time. And the low laser. 
Pyro has a looking for him. Meter burn rolls in. Punish. Potential stance. Air escape resets the damage, and Matin is forced to clash. Biohazard has two bars. He can take 25%. What will he do? 15. He no, takes it he both. Takes 25. And it's going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Both men at about even health. Comes down in the big boot from Matin. He's oh. high. Throws a chair. Wait a minute. <laughs> what, what is, is going on? Back? Wait a minute. I have to stop what this man. What a bloodbath. Destroying the chair. Knocking it straight into DMS. And Biohazard was looking for the instant low drop from the teleport. Instead, Madsen with the double drop kick boot overhead and flying all the way in from Germany. Madsen makes top eight. Dark side to get the job done. Check out this replay. Here we go, down to the wire. Biohazard forcing the clash after Madsen uses his last two bars. And he knows he's in a tough situation here. He knows he's gonna deal some damage. And that, here we go, Biohazard successfully dealing 25%, and Madsen goes in with I, the boots! I can't do this. Straight to the sky, and now watch this pop off! Listen. Look at this man, look at the energy! Madsen. The stomping around, the hitting, <laughs> and the knocking over of TMS! <laughs> Perfectly executed! What a superstar! Welcome to CEO, again. ladies and gentlemen! Unbelievable! What a sell from TMS! This is why CEO is the greatest tournament, and Madsen is in legit tears right now we are losing it magic in no! tears the entire stadium is laughing dead and we want to thank you for sticking with us beautiful beautiful oh tournament God. from start to top eight and that man will join you tomorrow in the ring he's probably going to cry for his entrance as he walks to the ring